So I think I'm ready to talk about it. The uh, the broadside clone with the <coughs> excuse me with the Kennedy 25. <clears throat> I won't bother going into the Kennedy 25 in in any detail because hey, I've done Kennedys, but um, the broadside, yeah, it it has right. It's worked. It's absolutely worked. But it has. Um, it's taken a little bit of, um, of of fiddling to actually get it to, to do what I want it to do properly. I will say, off the bat to start with, it is a fantastically hard hitting mech. Especially for a hydro. It's it's absolutely cracking. Like I mean properly good. Um I'm just I am really properly impressed with it. Um but as I said, it has had some some issues that I found in turning in terms of of trying to uh, to get it to work properly. But look, what I'm going to do is we'll try and go up close, trying with this new camera setup, and um, and show you a little bit of the detail. So bear with me. Okay, hopefully this is going to work. So here is said broadside. Bottom, you have a nice broadside logo there, um, and at the top, you have a hybrid top cap. Which can be a little bit stiff, and in fact, I'm not going to take the drip off there. Effectively, you have a pin which goes through the top cap, um, and then you have a reverse threaded screw. See that's backwards. And what you need to do, which I've found, is you need to push the screw all the way through and then put the dripper on top. And then you're in a position to actually tighten this up so that it's just touching the delrin in there. And then you get a decent connection. What I've found is before it was just not working properly. I wasn't able to get that connection properly done at the top. So basically, you've got that. So nice big fire um, contact. You put your battery in positive up for a change. And then the great thing is you have this Delrin sleeve. So the Delrin sleeve gives you protection. It's not a substitute for battery wrap safety, but it does help. Then you have your threads up there, which are absolutely fine and dandy. And then down the bottom, you have a clutch system. So you have a retaining ring, which unscrews with your button in. And then your clutch, which pops off, which has another adjustment pin there. So the firing pin. And then this has got a rubber band around it, or an O-ring that when you touch it, when you press the switch, this then makes contact with the side of the model, like so. You can adjust that, but I'm not going to, because it's been a bit of a pain. But then you screw that up there. Got a quite a light throw, or quite a, a, a short throw your battery in and if it's all working properly you get your vapors um, the clones have these um, this serial number on um, I don't know whether they change the serial number on the clones but I think this is rather rather cool I haven't bothered polishing this for a little while because I haven't used it well I have used it quite a lot but um, I haven't used it in a couple of days and last time I polished it was probably about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. So it does patina relatively quickly. Um, but it looks lovely with that um, 25mm Kennedy on top um, and and also this rather nice knurled drip tip which I found. But yeah, it's um, it's a nice all round mod and it's what what is so good is it is much well I say a safe mech but it is a safer option as a mech but yeah let's have a bit more of a conversation about it
here. There we are. That was a bit close up with broadside. Um, as I said, it's a beautiful looking looking device. Um, lovely in brass. Quite a long device in comparison with some others. I mean, if you put it alongside something like this Kennedy Roundhouse with a goon on top, it's considerably shorter, even without the the difference in the height of the, the goon. You can see that that's the um, that's basically what you you gain from having a clutch system and a hybrid top cap. Uh, it's um it's a chunky monkey. Um, I've still found a little bit of battery rattle, as you can hear, but not you know, not without sort of it's not something that I'm particularly fussed about. It's only a very tiny rattle, but the switch is just fantastic. It's just such a I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it's just such a light press, and you can press it wherever, and it fires beautifully. Um, there's no there's no sort of sweet spot that you have to hit. There's no particular area which you need to make sure that you're hitting so that it fires well. It just fires all the time, every time, wherever you touch the button. Uh, I would like to, to see maybe the actual piece of plastic in the switch be a little bit more um, robust. It does feel like something which could break relatively easily. But Jesus Christ, it, it hits so well. You know, I mean, I'm running a sort of a 0.1 Fuse Clapton Flapton build in here. And it, it, it hits harder than my hybrids. It's just something which I think takes a little bit more getting used to to set up the... Um, the switch to set up the top and I, I'm I could be forgiven but you know I mean back in the day when I first started vaping max I used the um, what did I use the Watofo Phantom so that had a hybrid top cap and you got used to setting that up and I used the Petri so the original dot mod Petri and that had that little sort of slot floating pin which which came with it and and that was something which you had to set up and you had to make sure that you got the right size pin for the right size atomizer. This is a lot easier, but I suppose we've just got lazy with hybrids. It just works. I think with um, you know the, the resurgence, especially in the UK, of people using mechs and people using mechs a lot, um, people are, are, are wanting very much more now to you know, beginner vapors or, you know, vapors who have seen people using these mechanical devices are thinking, well, I want to get in on that. I want to try it out because, you know, I have friends who come over and say, oh, let me try that. You know, my juice tastes better on your uh, your dripper. And they're wanting to get into mechs. And I would think and I would hope that if you use something like this, then hopefully you could mitigate some of the risk of people having poor battery wraps, poor atomizer knowledge in terms of the safety of your hybrid 510s. Um, I think this is probably the future in terms of how it works um, and a, a very reasonable price. Even the authentic is a decent price um, but the clone is is a steal. I mean this is a I think this is a knucklehead clone and this is what, 25 30 quid. Teamed with the um, the Kennedy, it's just an all around great vape. Um, I don't think it will replace my my hybrids um, anytime soon, but it does definitely compete alongside them. So again, if you have any more comments around this, then then absolutely great. If you've got comments in terms of the broadside setup that other people might find useful to. Um, to look at and to use, then then please do comment because um, yeah, I, I I'm I'm no expert in using these um, these particular uh, devices. I'm more comfortable with my hybrids because I know them and I've used them you know for longer and more continuously. But you know it, it seems to work great for me and I can't recommend them highly enough. But thank you all again, and also just make sure that you comment on the video quality. Let me know if there's any things that you'd like me to change. And as always, I will see you on the next one.